So I just invested $20,000 to spend a week training my brain for 10 to 14 hours a day in this small dark room. Now my goal is to increase my IQ, get rid of anxiety, and achieve my full brain potential. However, the burning question remains. Will this training actually work? And can I survive the whole week in this dark room? Well, let's find out. Welcome to BioCybernaut, one of the leading institutes in the world for alpha brain training. Now this is the place where people like Tony Robbins, Vishen Lakhiani, Stefan James, and many others have trained. Now before we dive into my own experience, what exactly is alpha brain training? How does it work and why should you consider doing it? Well, let me quickly explain. Alpha brain training is a specific type of neurofeedback that focuses on increasing the brain's alpha wave activity. Alpha waves are associated with a relaxed and calm state of mind. The training aims to enhance alpha wave production, which is believed to improve focus, creativity, and overall mental performance. Through this training, you can learn to control and increase your alpha brainwave activity whenever you need to, which is an extremely powerful tool you can learn to use. So, how does the training work? Well, first, they need to put electrodes on my head to measure my brain's activity. So let's do this. Okay, so now it's time to move into the training room. So here's the deal, I'll be sitting in this room for about 5 to 10 hours a day training my brain. Now I'll have to go through different tasks and challenges, so it's gonna be quite a you know, demanding task to, to do the work uh, properly. At the same time, my brain will be constantly wired so the guys in the back room can always check what's going on and they can see everything. If I open my eyes, if I'm too tense, you know, uh, if I'm not really focused, they can see everything and, you know, they can tell me if I need to change anything during the process. But the idea is that there's speakers inside the room and I can hear different sounds. So when the sound increases, so when it, it gets louder, this means I, I'm producing more alpha waves. And when the sound goes down, it means I'm producing less alpha waves, which means I'm doing something wrong usually. Now the sounds just represent what's happening in my mind. They're just a reflection of what's going on in my mind. So basically, I can hear my brain working here. This is quite fascinating. Now the most challenging part is that you're alone in a completely dark room, so there's no light in like right now. Uh, your eyes are closed and you're not really allowed to tense your muscles. You need to be very, very calm and you need to use your brain for the training. And it's really hard to do this because every time, you know, in the beginning, especially when you try to do it, you start, you know, you get really tense and this is the wrong thing to do and, you know, the guys can see that. So the idea is to just be calm, to focus, and eventually you will learn or you learn how to how to use your brain properly. Now before the sessions and after the sessions, you need to go through different surveys, you need to answer many questions about how you feel, your well-being and so on. And also at the end of the session, you have a one-on-one -on -one, uh, talk with your coach and there is where you can share everything you want to share, stuff that happened to you, uh, trauma that came out, some memories, etc. And this coach is really uh, good at figuring out what's going on while listening to you, obviously, and checking the data 
uh, from your brain activity and based on that you know he or she can help you move forward to achieve the next step. Now as you can see this is a very complex training that requires a hundred percent commitment. Some say it is like 40 years of meditation in a week but does it work? Well let's focus now on my personal experience. So I just returned home from my first day of Alpha Brain Neurofeedback training and I'm feeling really good about it. Um, yeah, it was a long day. I arrived at the center at 9 in the morning and I came home at 5 in the afternoon. And most of the time in between I spent in a small cham chamber uh, which was completely dark um, and yeah, very, very small. Like there was room for one chair a computer, a smart table, and a couple of speakers, and that's about it. And I was in for several hours. Now, I lost count because I had no watch. I was not allowed to have my phone there. The only watch that is at the center has um, a, sign it, a sign on it, which says um, now, and there is no, yeah, it doesn't show the real time. So, yeah, I don't know. I was in for, for ages, and it was quite challenging uh, because, uh, yeah, I mean, they give you they give you instructions, but then you need to do the work with your brain. And it's it's really hard to figure out what actually you need to do, uh, and it was demanding, but in a maybe a different way than I expected. And the funny thing is that right now I feel way more energized than I felt before the session, and and that's the power of alpha brain waves. Um, yeah, I still need some time to 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 go through to process what happened today. Overall, it was a good experience, positive experience, uh, quite different than what I expected to happen. Um, challenging, but not too demanding. So, so it's possible to go through it at least one day. Now I have six more sessions to come in a row. So yeah, I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to those sessions in terms of spending time alone in the dark, in a small dark room, but yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do. So let's do it. Oh, by the way, why do I wear my hat? Because I look like this. I had electrodes here and that's how I look like. Um, so I think it's better to have my hat on. Uh, I look more normal. <laughs> yeah. So the second day of Alpha Brain Training is behind me. Um, compared to the first one, this day was easier in many ways, but also more challenging because there was a certain moment where I was trying to push myself, push my brain to achieve a certain result, which is exactly the opposite of what you need to do. So uh, it's kind of a mind boggling, uh, so to say. Um, I got some important revelations, some important uh, trauma revealed to me, um, and I was working on that. Uh, but there's still some work to do so yeah it is challenging to sit in the room especially now once you know what's happening or what's gonna happen once you know the process it's I think it's harder at least for me um, but yeah you just need to go with the flow you need to yeah, take it easy and at the end um, yeah it works I mean you build this endurance uh, through the process and that's really important so yeah, what I can I say, so far so good. It's not easy, not at all, but I can see progress and that's important. So, day three of Alpha Brain Training is behind me and this was the hardest day so far. Um, I was really struggling for a while, I got really tired. That's apparently how your mind plays with you as soon as you try to you know, broaden your perspective, uh, you try to learn new things that you try to train your brain then you know it just somehow reacts in different ways but usually you get you can get very tired and that's what happened to me today um, so I was struggling a bit and also uh, it felt like a very long session the whole day mm, yeah very long uh, but I processed some new things it was so amazing uh, to see some of my best traumas that I already worked on emerge again and I didn't understand why exactly but hey they came up and I worked on them and this training seems to be very very powerful I see this already now but I have four more days of that so 
yeah, it's a constant struggle in a way to get back there, to get back into the room. But since I already see some results, some improvements, yeah, you know, I'm just going with the flow and I'm sure I can manage it. And all of you can do as well if you want to. So, tomorrow the four day, let's see what it brings. So a new day of neurofeedback training is behind me. Mm, and what should I say about today? We only had one session, not two, which was a bit easier, but I think the session was much longer. To be honest, um, it just felt like it just never stopped. Um, so it was quite demanding um, still. But I had a major breakthrough today. Um, lots of anger I, I put out. And it's just amazing how your brain works once you know how to use it properly. It's just like, Wow, I mean, um, yeah, it's good to work to do psychotherapy or plant medicine, all of that is beneficial, but sometimes you don't even need none of that, basically. You can do all of all the work yourself. So yeah, I'm really impressed so far, but um, um, yeah, I have three more days to go. So let's see what happens in the next three days. I'm, I'm excited about it. Well, not about the, the work I have to do, but about the results, that's for sure. Well, Today was an extremely hard day. I was in the small room training my brain for about eight hours straight with a 10 minute break in between, and that's about it. And it was you know, mentally demanding, demanding. It was physically demanding to sit on the chair and, and you know, keep on listening to the voice of your brain, which got really loud today. So it was, uh, lots of memories came up, uh, very emotional. I was even crying in between. Yeah, it was quite a hard day. But the good thing is that on the other side, um, I've learned that I have one, I can produce one of the highest alpha brain waves they've seen in this center since the beginning. Really, really high alpha brain waves, which means I have the, they told me I have like the mental capacity to do amazing things because they got some of the you know, most successful uh, high achievers here, like you know, Tony Robbins was here or Stephen James and so on. And my alpha brain waves are well, they, they didn't compare them to those guys because they can't do that, but they said they're some of the, the highest they've seen, which is very good to know, very positive thing. It, it gives me so much energy just knowing that, you know, that I have the mental capacity. I mean, I've knew it before, but just seeing the hard data there, uh, that is just, just fantastic. I'm really happy about it to see how, you know, I've, I've already been using my brain quite a lot in the past and I've produced some really successful projects, but still, it's so nice. It's 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 such a positive thing, and with training, apparently, I can you know get them even higher. So, you know, two more days of training, and then I'll continue training at home. And <laughs> let's see what happens. Let's see. But I'm really excited about it. Apart from that, today was yeah the hardest day so far. So I don't know how I'm gonna go back there tomorrow, but I'm gonna do it. I, gotta, I have to do it, right? It's yeah. You gotta do what you gotta do. So. Finally, I only have one more day to go. Today was the day six, six day of six day of training, and um, the first part was quite good. Actually, it was excellent. Uh, I processed so many things in in the time available. I don't know how long it took. It felt like forever, but um, I processed so many things. And then in the second part, um, I was really struggling. Like after 20 minutes or so, maybe 30 minutes. I had no more thoughts in my mind, so I was very present, but, you know, being six days in a row in the room alone, um, it kind of like gets to you, right? So at a certain point I was like, yeah, I just want to go out. I didn't go till the end, I waited till the end, but it was a big struggle. Um, they say it's quite kind of a normal, the third day and the sixth day are the hardest, and I experienced both days uh, as the hardest so far, I think. Mm, so yeah. Um, I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. It's a bit, uh, it's a special day, special day of training. So let's see what happens tomorrow. But um, yeah, it's the final day coming up and um, yeah, I can do that. I can definitely do it.
After an incredible six days of intense training, something absolutely amazing happened. I had a major breakthrough and you won't believe how happy and in the moment I felt on the last day of training. I was so overjoyed that I completely forgot about filming myself. Instead, I simply packed my stuff and embarked on a delightful seven hour drive back home. And you know what? It turned out to be one of the most enjoyable experiences of being alone I've ever had. Now that I'm back home, it's been over a week and I must say I feel absolutely fantastic. My mind feels lighter and I've never been so calm and content. I'm genuinely grateful for this journey. Now during the training I learned so much about myself and I processed so many things from my first 30 years of life that I feel like I've just hit a reset button. It is as if I'm starting anew. Now you probably know me for trying various things to reach my full potential, like my recent ayahuasca experience which you can watch up here. But I can honestly say that this week of alpha brain training was the most challenging and transformative experience yet. I entered the program without any expectations and the person who emerged from the room, well, let's just say I've come to love that person. I understand that this training can be a bit expensive, but trust me, if you're serious about achieving peak performance, it's an investment worth making. And hey, if you decide to give it a shot, you'll get a special deal if you use my link below. Now some folks might wonder if my IQ has actually increased over this week. Now I didn't measure it because I don't believe it's essential to fixate on IQ scores. However, I can confidently say that because I'm more present and focused, with less worry about the future or dwelling on the past, it feels like my brain power has skyrocketed and as a result I feel smarter. Now this alpha brain training combined with plant medicine, daily meditation practice and the right nootropics is definitely the most powerful combo I've experienced. So watch my next videos up here to learn how you can unleash your full brain potential. By the way, did you like this video and want to see more similar content? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys and I hope to see you soon again. Stay well.